I'm here at the GW Electric booth at Distributech 2025, and we've got ourselves a tour guide. I'm here with Kelly. Kelly, there seems to be a lot of dangerous looking stuff around here. I assume it's not dangerous in the setting of Distributech, but could you show me around just in case? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> no, definitely not dangerous. This will be a safe tour. Sweet. Yeah, so we'll just kind of start over here and we'll talk a little bit about our uh, sensor line over here. So one of the things that GW Electric is focused on is uh, kind of working into the digitalization of our industry and providing solutions that can help our customers with predictive, um, you know, like monitoring, uh, sensing what's going on on the line. We have sensors that we can apply onto our overhead products. And then the one you're looking at right now is our newest, which is an underground AccuSense sensor, which actually just goes right onto the elbow. And uh, so this is something that we've launched this year and we've brought to market. So we're super excited about this product to be able to take our technology from the overhead application down to the underground application. If we shift over here a little to the left, this is our Viper ST. We've had, uh, this is a very successful recloser line and we have recently just enhanced the uh, ratings of our Viper ST and it's up to 170 KV BIL. What you can see is we're actually showing an application that has all the CTs, it's got our sensor products on it. So it's kind of a everything in one. Not all customers need everything that you see here, but we're trying to display all of the site readiness that we can create with our Viper on an overhead line. Okay. That makes sense. Kelly, how'd you get that thing in here, by the way? <laughs> well, if we can get that in, if we can get that big one down there in here, we can definitely get this one in here. So. Um, we can shift a little bit down here to the, the big guy at the end. Oops, sorry. Ooh, I'm sorry. So just staying on the, the overhead uh, topic here, this is our Viper HV, which is our 40.5 uh, overhead recloser, which we launched a couple years ago, debuted here at the show. Um, we are taking our medium voltage technology that goes on the pull top and now we've elevated it to the sub transmission level with what you can see here this is obviously the three phases um, we can do it in a number of different configurations on the pull top and this is a way for our customers customers to be able to uh, save and keep the energy going and not reducing uh, or not causing any outages past the substation or at the substation level for all the customers down that line cost-effective solution versus building your, your pad mounts and putting your breakers in a substation. So that's the Viper HV. Um, you can kind of see we've got a number of other overhead options here. We've got a substation Viper product here. We've got load brake switches over here with the Diamondback, which is this kind of tan one here. And then if you kind of look around the, the top with all the, the lights, we have our power grid automation team here demonstrating how our laser software program helps our customers to isolate vaults on the system and open and close and help isolate uh, on the grid to reduce outages and downtime for our customers. So this whole section in this part of our booth here is really built around this whole automation and shows how you can find a fault in one area, close the line and pull a source from somewhere else. Kelly, I feel like the grid is just getting so complicated, but it also enables so many more things. Can you share a little bit about how this new technology is, is enabling us to not only keep the lights on, but yeah. also build at the scale we need to to satisfy load growth? Right? Yeah, I mean, it, it's definitely transforming. It's a lot more focused around the resiliency, the reliability, um, different things about uh, being able to have really resilient uh lines on, on our grid. If you look at the product to my left here, this is an underground application. So we're seeing a lot of utilities taking the consideration of undergrounding our lines, right? So less on the overhead, less impact from, you know, wind, from storms, your fire, uh, you know, your wildfires that we see happening every year. So this is uh, undergrounding is one way that we can do that. Automation is another way that we can help, uh, you know, restore power back to the people on the grid. Uh, same thing with reclosers. It's all about protection. 
And when we talked about sensors, you know, that's a, a way that allows the utilities and our customers to really monitor what's going on on the grid and to be able to look at predictive um, activity, make, make better decisions about what's going on with faults. Um, so we can do that overhead and we can do that underground. Kelly, last question for you. Um, this week so far at Distributech, it, it's the biggest utility conference in North America. The who's who and the decision makers are all here. Is there something that's caught your ear this week that maybe you weren't in tune to before? Or maybe some interesting chatter that maybe uh, frames the, the way that you think about your technology at GW moving forward? Um, you know, I think that a lot of the focus that is happening is really the transformation around the digitalization and around predictive analytics and um, one of the things that our company is also doing is we're investing in other technology that has more advanced uh, monitoring and predictive analytics that then we want to integrate with our apparatuses to bring it all together to allow for our customers to be able to make fast and good decisions about what's going on within their grid.